Okoroka reveals why PDP chieftains are planning a one million man march against his government. Governor Rakas Okoroka of Imo State has reacted to reports of a planned one million man march against his government. Okoroka claims the march was because he does not share money for people. The Imo state governor alleges that the former Speaker of the State House of Assembly is behind the march. Governor Rakaza Koroka of Imo state has reacted to the planned one million man march against his government on July 3. The Imo state governor in a statement signed by his chief press secretary, Sam Miodo, on Wednesday, June 28, claimed that the march was because he does not share money for people in the state. Nage. Com gathered that Okoroka accused the former Speaker of the State House of Assembly, Kulachin Wagwu, of being behind the alleged march. Read the statement below. This is to bring to the knowledge of the general public and indeed, the good people of the state in particular that, for months now, the former Speaker of the State House of Assembly during the administration of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Kulachin Wagwu, has inundated the media, especially the social media, with repeated threats of organizing P2P members for one million man match protest on Monday, July 3, 2017, against the rescue mission government in the state, with the people's governor, Al El Rakas Akoroka, as the superintendent. The former speaker, who belongs to the Al Haji McCarthy faction of the PDP, has also followed the threat with avalanche of infantile blackmail and infernal propaganda, mostly in the social media where it appears there is no control over marketing of falsehood. Again, in all these, the government has chosen to remain calm at least to see whether Chief Nwagwu could tell the world his reasons for the planned protest march. But he was not forthcoming, making the government to have no other option than to take home or believe the general contention that the anger of the former speaker and his co-travelers is that, the era of share the money and the era of gala nights on daily basis have all become jettisoned under Governor Rakas Akoroka and, indeed, for good. It is also on record that the P2P government in the state for 12 years did nothing for the state and her people, and left no legacy except the unfortunate legacy of flogging indigenes of the state at random, including a reverend. Father and a human rights activist. Com reported that Igbo people have been warned by the governor of Imo state not to support the activities of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipaw. According to reports, Okoroka advised his kinsmen to fix the bridge of relationship with northerners. Taking a swipe at the pro-Biafra group, Okoroka said, I do know that when the chips are down, they, Ipaw, won't be anywhere to be found. <laughs>